what? Hey everyone, Steven here at My Live Outdoors. So, a couple weeks ago I put out a video that covered all the gear that you need to go backpacking for under $315. That video covered all the things that you probably don't have already if you've never backpacked before. But this week I'm going to be talking about clothes and I'm going to do a comparison between all the expensive clothes that I have and that I take backpacking nearly every time that I go and alternatives that well, you don't have to buy. You see, I used to take groups of teenagers who had never backpacked before a day in their lives on their very first multi-day trips to Colorado. We'd outfit them with a pack and a sleep system, a tent, a cook set, etc. All the things that my previous video talked about, but we couldn't really do much for clothing because of how individualized clothing is. So what I did was I came up with a list of things that I felt like most people have that'll work for backpacking and even keep you safe in extreme temperatures like we experienced in Colorado. And today I'm gonna share that list with you in this comparison video. So if you've never backpacked before or you're just now building your gear loadout, this video will not only show you what I wear backpacking, but some free alternatives to expensive backpacking gear that you don't have to buy. So let's take a look. Shorts and pants. So my beloved hiking pants are a pair of REI zip-off pants that I bought way back in 2011. And the thing that I love about them is the way that you can zip off the legs without taking off your boots. Since buying these, I've yet to find another pair of pants that have the same feature or at least have the same fit and cut as these. I paid over $100 for these way back in 2011. And even though that brings a cost down to just $10 per year, you don't have to spend that kind of money on pants. Most people have something that will work well for free. The key is you want to stay away from cotton. There's a saying in the outdoor industry that cotton kills, mainly because if cotton gets wet, it loses all of its ability to insulate you from the cold, which can lead to hypothermia. <laughs> Wool and synthetics don't have this problem. They not only can dry quickly, but they can still insulate you even when they're wet. So when you're looking for clothes that you might already have, athletic clothes are going to be your best friend. Most people have a pair of gym shorts or basketball shorts like these that'll still work really well for backpacking. But you're also gonna want a pair of pants, and so wind pants or athletic pants are also a really good option. Just stay away from sweatpants as those are typically cotton. For shirt, I recommend a simple polyester t-shirt like this Under Armour shirt. This is my go-to shirt for hiking. It costs something like $25, which isn't expensive, but hopefully you already have something that'll work really well. Knockoff brands that you find a wall Walmart work well too. Just check the tag to make sure that it's polyester, nylon, argon, or something synthetic like that. If you don't have anything like that, then a 50-50 blend t-shirt will also work like this take a seat shirt that you can get online from mylifeoutdoors.com slash store. Hint, hint. But buy it because it's cool not to hike in because you really want a fully synthetic shirt to hike in. So I've got a couple pairs of these AYG synthetic boxer shorts that I paid about $25 each for, but a lot of people have something more like these Under Armour boxer briefs that are actually a really good option. I will often take these to wear in wet conditions to prevent chafing. Once again, you just want to stay away from cotton if you can. But if you can't, well then go ahead and take your cotton underwear, but if they get wet, then you might consider ditching them and going commando. Shoes. So, I'm a fan of boots, and I know that a lot of hikers have switched to trail runners, and I, I just haven't yet because I really like the support of a boot, and I've nearly twisted my ankle enough times to keep me wearing these. I paid about $150 for these boots, and I've worn them for years, so long, in fact, that a new doesn't even make men's boots anymore. So you can think of a good pair of boots like an investment. I feel like most people who are interested in hiking have a pair of hiking boots or hiking shoes that they already use when they go on day hikes. But if you don't, then a good pair of tennis shoes will also work too. Just make sure that they have some really good tread on them. These are actually the shoes that I mow the lawn in and they're the only thing I can think of to show you as an example. Socks are the one thing that you may not already have but you also don't want to scrimp on them. I really like these double layered socks from Right Socks that are guaranteed not to give you blisters. I paid something like $12 for a pair of these and they're some of my favorite socks but they may still give you blisters because they have me. But if they do, you can send them back and you can get your $12 back. Insulation. Typically, backpackers will carry something like this puffy jacket and maybe even a fleece, but these are not cheap. I paid over $60 for this fleece, and I paid $150 for this puffy jacket, and it was on sale for half off. But hopefully you have some type of fleece or even like a wool sweater like this one that'll work really good as a mid-layer to keep you warm. Once again, you just want to stay away from cotton, which means no sweatshirt hoodies. And instead of a puffy jacket, just take whatever warm jacket you already have. Whatever you would normally wear to stay warm in the winter. If you're a skier, then ski jackets work really well. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be fancy. It just needs to keep you warm. 
And as long as you have a good 20 degree sleeping bag like the Cosmic 20 that I recommended a couple weeks ago, that will serve as your last line of defense. If you ever find yourself getting cold and, and the clothes that you brought just can't keep up, all you gotta do is just jump in your sleeping bag. It's the warmest thing that you brought by far, I guarantee you. You'll probably want a warm hat and some gloves. Again, whatever you wear in the winter time will serve you well here. I have this Melanzana beanie that I paid $25 for and some cheap gloves that I got at a sporting goods store. Now, one of the things you're probably gonna want, but you probably don't already have, is a good set of rain gear. I have this Montane rain jacket that I paid over $160 for, and some Montane rain pants that I paid $100 for. But, how many times am I gonna be able to say but in this video? But, 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 in the past, I've had teenagers pick up a good quality poncho, but since then, I've actually switched to the Frog Togs rain suit. Frog Togs are great, and you really can't beat them for the price, the weight, and the protection. This whole suit costs only $15. The jacket only weighs seven ounces, which is amazing for a jacket and it works really well. Lots of hardcore, ultra light, and through hikers use frog togs as their go-to rain gear. They can be a little flimsy and they can rip easily, but they're so cheap that if that happens, just replace it. And speaking of rain gear, something that I forgot to mention in the last video is rain protection for your gear. And that's as simple and as affordable as a trash bag to line your pack with. You can do something like one of these Nilo Flume, did I say that right? Or just get you a contractor bag. I actually have a whole YouTube short that talks about what we used to do with these when I take teens hiking that I'll link in the description below. So that's all the clothing that I take and wear on a typical backpacking trip. And if you total it all up, it's about $800 for everything. Or you can just use stuff that you already have and save yourself that money. If you do go fairly often, you'll eventually want to invest in some really good quality gear, but I recommend using what you have to get yourself into the backcountry and then slowly build up your gear. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and check out this awesome backpacking t-shirts that I have for sale. This is a great way to support me and the content I'm creating, so go check it out at mylifeoutdoors.com/store. Follow me on Instagram at mylifeoutdoors, and as always, thanks for watching.